Hello there, everybody. I'm Mel Allen, and this is Baseball Collection. Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector, and today is a great day because I got a PSA submission back. It was a submission that I did through a friend of mine, and it is Dan, who is Cardtech710 on YouTube, and you definitely want to check his channel out. I'll put a link down below to it. Uh, his stuff is amazing, and I have some projects that I've been working on that I've just really struggled trying to find the cards already slabbed I don't do very many PSA submissions um, just because it takes forever and I mean I've done a few but this is way better way to get these cards because I'm just not finding them it's that simple and so let me go through these I got 17 cards here to show and at least that I submitted hint hint so the first one here is 1992 Ultra Harold Baines, the GOAT himself, Jim Mint 10, and so I'm doing the 92 Ultra Hall of Famers. This again was one of the premier sets that came out like my freshman year in college, and I just thought it was so groundbreaking and awesome, and I've loved it ever since, and so I thought it would be a cool project to get all the Hall of Famers in this set and potential Hall of Famers, maybe someday Hall of Famers, like this guy, Kurt Schilling. I think he's got a really good shot, probably this year actually, to get into the Hall of Fame. I love that it shows him on the Astros, which is not where he made his name for himself, but that's also a Jim Mint 10. These cards are actually quite easy to grade, really. So uh, there's the Mike Mussina, and he had a 91 Ultra Update, which I would really call his rookie card. They they named this a rookie, but I don't know that I'd call it a rookie card, but it's a great card. Mike Mussina, Jim Mint 10. Got an Alan Trammell. Again, you can see it's Alan Trammell. Why would somebody grade an Alan Trammell 92 Ultra? Well, I would because I'm doing a project on it, but otherwise, good luck finding these things. The pop on these are really low. So there's that. We've got 92 Ultra Larry Walker, who again I think is a guy that has a pretty good shot this year of getting in the Hall of Fame. That's a mint nine on that one. A couple other mint nines here. There's Edgar Martinez, new Hall of Famer, class of 2019. And then Jack Morris. So that pretty much fills out my set. I did get a Jim Tomy here, but I guess I sent it in not realizing I already had a Jim Mint 10 in this card. So now I have a 10 and a 9. So there you go. Another set that I'm working on is the Last Card Hall of Famer. And it's a same story. A lot of these guys, their last cards don't get graded very much. And so it's very difficult to find. And if you do find them, they go for crazy amounts of money because the pops are so low. And so I just thought I'd start sending in my own. Here's the last tops card, last base tops card of Vlad Guerrero in a Jim Mint 10. You can see Josh Hamilton back here on deck. So that was his one and only year with the Rangers and they went to the World Series. The next card I'll show this way because it's a sideways card. You've got Ivan Pudge Rodriguez, his last tops card, which is 2011 tops as well. That came back a Jim Mint 10. You can see him patting old Steve Strasberg on the head there. It's a really neat card. This one, I don't know what I missed on it, uh, but it came back an 8, and that's the last card of Trevor Hoffman in a PSA 8. Next up is a whole bunch of football, and I know that's not what I do very much ever, but uh, I had, a few months ago I did a video, I met this lady, she had got a hold of me and wanted to sell a collection, and I thought, oh, I'll go look at it, and ended up getting a couple of 1984 Topps football sets, 
which are pretty iconic because they've got some amazing rookie cards in them. And there were two of them, so I just sent both cards in, just not knowing uh, really. So I just thought, man, I'm going to send them in. And so right here is the Eric Dickerson rookie, and that's an 8 PD, and PD stands for print defect. So somewhere there's a print defect on this card, and it might be right up here. Can't really tell. Um, all three of the major rookies, Dickerson, Marino, and Elway, all came, I had one of each of theirs, all come back with an 8 PD. So there was something obviously going on with that set, but otherwise it's a really pretty card. The other Dickerson, the second Dickerson that I sent in came back a seven, and that's probably properly graded. That's pretty off center. You got a print dot right there above his head. So then here's the first Elway. This is the, the print defect Elway. So that came back an eight PD. The other one came back you know, a good collector grade of just a straight eight. Uh, was really hoping that these could get, at least one of each of the players would get a nine, but no such luck, no such luck. Then we got Dan Marino, same thing, a print defect. Must be, again, something the same with that entire set that I had. But the second one came back just a straight eight. That one's actually pretty nicely centered. Nice card. So that's it for the cards that I submitted. But that's not all. Because Andy, she blinded me with the refractors, also sent some cards in to Dane. And he got his back uh, the other day and did a video on it. And he got some extras that Dane threw in there. And guess what? Dane did the same thing to me. That little sneaky booger, he sent me some extra cards and I just thought it was so, so cool. Let me show these to you. I mean, who does, who just sends cards like this? I guess good dudes do that. Here's a 2019 Topps Heritage Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card in a mint nine. Yep, that's pretty awesome. Then you got I already showed his dad, so there's uh, Vlad Guerrero Jr., 2019 Topps Chrome, rookie card, mint nine. But he wouldn't just send nines, he also had to send some tens. Here's a 2019 Topps Chrome Pink Refractor, Michael Kopech, gem mint 10. So awesome. And here's the last one he sent me. This will be the last card I show. 2017 Topps Chrome Cody Bellinger Prism Refractor Gem Mint 10. I mean, this card is just so much shine on it. That's such a cool refractor effect. Love it, love it, love it. So, man, Dane, thank you so much. Again, if you haven't watched Dane's channel, Card Tech 710, I'll put a link below. Go check it out. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like about the submission. And uh, we'll catch you guys soon. Keep collecting.